Thank you. So, uh, I'm probably f from a different domain. Uh, I'm from IIT Bhubaneswar. I would like to speak a bit about how you know, artificial intelligence can actually come into the current perspective and it can be useful. Let me tell you three, four instances uh, which uh, I feel that I would like to share with you, which may be uh, interesting to you. And I, I feel that these uh, use cases are pretty much connected to the current uh, topic. You know, three years back, we all, we all know that what the entire world went through, that COVID. But if you basically look into that, the generation, I mean to say that where from it has started and how it has spread, okay, we have learned a lot. I mean to say that starting from how to uh, keep ourselves safe from, uh, you know, the virus getting um, spread, and then uh, how to behave in a, in a, in a room with a maintaining a social distancing, all these things you have learned it. And the question remains that if similar to that comes again in different forms, are we really ready to tackle this? Our healthcare infrastructure is ready to tackle this or not? This is one question. And uh, second question is that, is it possible to detect it beforehand? So being a part of artificial intelligence group at IIT Bhubaneswar, what I feel that at least we can create systems that will be able to predict that we are moving towards a scenario where a similar situation may arise. Okay. I have been working closely with Odisha government during the first uh, COVID uh, outbreak. We were creating a AI based system to understand that when very different people actually came back to Odisha, particularly Odisha is a state where a lot of migrant workers, they, they actually worked in various other states. So I was part of the Odisha government committee to come up with a solution. How can we basically figure it out that when these people are returning to the particular uh, district, we can keep them in a confined area so that the spread gets minimized. So I was part of the team. What we found that it is actually possible to come up with some model, which is the AI-based model, I will not go into the details, which essentially help the government to, you know, come up with certain strategies. I'm not talking about the number of cases will be prediction. We are not doing predictions, but we were basically giving, uh, giving them some strategies that how to basically ensure that they do not get, you know, people are not mixed up with those people. The second question is that, you know, vector borne diseases are very common these days. Okay. And since morning, I have been following each and every discussion, starting from the shortage of manpower, how can we ensure that the people who are living in rural India, they actually get to the best of the qualities of the healthcare services. Like people, you know, say something happens in Western Odisha, if the person needs to travel to Bhubaneswar, 400 kilometers from the western Odisha, by the time the golden hour is lost. So what is the possibility? Technology can come here itself. So in what way? We might not be a neurosurgeon available into a remote village of western Odisha, but it is possible that with the help of AI, the people who are not aware about the golden hour, okay, so the preliminary decisions can be taken at the local hospitals itself. So, uh, you know, IIT Bhubaneswar, in collaboration with EMS Bhubaneswar, we are actually working on several such projects. I am not telling you explicitly one project. There are many projects. My Bhubaneswar, he must be knowing. There are several projects we are running parallelly. The reason is that medical science is not find within the city oriented things. It should reach to the common people of this state and of this country. Okay. And I believe with this uh, conclave organized by Argus and other healthcare professionals and uh, you, know, you know, various people involved with this, this will create a big awareness in the society. Okay. And we, each and every member of this country, we have our responsibility to ensure that this healthcare facilities, whatever we are getting it, 
sitting in the city of Bhubaneswar, each and every people of this state, they are also supposed to get the similar level of service, staying at their home. We do not want Bhubaneswar to be a place where everyone will come. That's not going to solve the problem. Let's try to solve the problem from the root. We'd like to create infrastructure, maybe digital infrastructure with the help of AI, so that the health care actually reaches to the each and every beats and corners of this state and as well as this country. So where I believe AI is playing a big role. With that, I would like to finish my talk. Thank you all. जदि आपन को आम भिडटी भल लगला तेब आम चेल्क लाइक सेयार और सब्सक्राइब करने को जमा भी भूलु ना